In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Pulis CRP5 flight computer to do conversions from meters to feet and vice versa. I'll show you how to do that by going through a few examples. First of all, let me introduce you to the scale. At the top of the CRP5, you can see we have a kilometers, meters, and liters scale. At the bottom of the CRP5, we find feet. So, 1 or 10 or 100 can be represented by the blue index on both the inner and outer scale. So let's use the outer scale uh, so that we can get the conversion ratio in case you've forgotten your conversion ratio and you'd like to use your calculator to do the calculation instead. So 1 meter is equivalent to, and if I were to rotate the CRP5 and look at the outer scale, you'll find that corresponding with the feet arrow, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit, and I'm going to move the cursor so that the cursor lines up with the feet arrow. You can see that 1 meter is equivalent to 3.12 about 3.28 feet, which happens to be the conversion ratio. So then, how do we do the conversion for units other than 1, 10, 100, 1000, 10,000? Let's convert from meters to feet first. 1 meter is equal to 3.28 feet, so 10 meters would be 32.8 feet and 100 meters would be 328 feet. What if you want a different number? Let's say 174. So let's put 174 into the scale. So that's 172, 174. And I'm going to confirm that I've got 174 lined up with the meters scale. And that I do. 174 meters would be the equivalent feet that we read off the bottom of the scale. It says feet. So 174 meters would be, and let's turn the CRP around so that feet is up top and I'm going to hold down the CRP5 so that the scale doesn't move and I'm going to move the cursor to meet the feet arrow so what do we have? well 174 meters equals to 550, 560, 570 feet. Okay, so we push down on the CRP so we don't get a parallax error and we read off that. Since we're here at the feet, let's try a conversion from feet to meters. Let's try 30,000. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move 30,000 to the feet pointer and I'm going to line that up with the cursor to make sure it's exact. I take a little bit of uh, fiddling here because I'm trying to work under a camera. So for me the parallax might be a little bit greater. The cursor really helps. So I've got 3 or 30 or 30,000. So in our case, we're going to convert 30,000 feet into meters. We know what the rough conversion is. The conversion is roughly uh, divided by 3. Uh, but we want an exact value. So what do we do? We look at the feet, uh, we, sorry, we look at the meters scale. And again, I hold down um, the scale of the CRP so it doesn't move. And then I shift the cursor to the meters index or the meters pointer 
and I can read off the meters of the inner scale. So that's 9,000 meters, that's 10,000 meters, which means each major index would be 100 meters. So 30,000 feet would be equivalent to 9,150 meters. Now, there might be some rounding error, but if we were to take a calculator out and use the exact conversion, we shouldn't be more than 4 or 5 units off. And for such a big conversion, a little bit of error is acceptable. So we've now done conversions from meters to feet and vice versa.